sick man. How many of you know that? Amen. Anybody ever lift up the name of Jesus and you get overwhelmed in this presence? Yes, yes. We're going to sing this little song. Come on, Bishop.
the light from heaven came to her. I know the, the shepherds and the wives, they seen the star, but there was something brighter than the star that happened that night. Amen. Hallelujah. Christian, Christian Hill, pull up that video, the Christmas story, and on my cue. In those days, Caesar Augustus issued a decree that a census should be taken of the entire Roman world. This was the first census that took place while Quirinus was governor of Syria.
11 verse 20. So then when you come together, it is not the Lord's circle you eat for you. When you are eating, some of you go ahead with your own private suppers. As a result, one person remains hungry and another gets drunk. Don't you have homes to eat and drink in? Or do you despise the church of God by humiliating those who have nothing? What shall I say to you? Shall I praise you? Certainly not in this matter. For I receive from the Lord, but I also pass on to you, the Lord Jesus. On the night he was betrayed, took bread when he had given thanks. He broke it and said, this is my body, which is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after supper, he took the cup, saying, this cup is the new covenant in my blood. Do this whenever you drink it in remembrance of me. For whenever you eat of this bread and drink this cup, you proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. So then, whoever eats the bread or drinks the cup of the Lord in an unworthy manner will be guilty of sinning against the body and the blood of the Lord. Everyone ought to examine themselves before they eat of the bread and drink from the cup. For those who eat and drink without discerning the body of Christ, eat and drink judgment on themselves. That is why many among you are weak and sick, and a number of you have fallen asleep. But if it were more discerning with regard to ourselves, we would not come under such judgment. Nevertheless, we are judged in this way by the Lord. We are being disciplined so that we will not be finally condemned with the world. So then, my brothers and sisters, when you gather to eat, you shall all eat together. Anyone who is hungry shall eat something at home, so that when you meet together, it may not result in judgment. And when I come, I will give further directions. When we look at the Bible, when we look at the Lord's Supper, there's one significant thing about the last supper he did. He only did it with disciples. He didn't do it with anybody else. He did it with the ones he had chose. And people say, well, Jesus was there. Well, if you go back and read your Bible, you will find out that Satan didn't give a Judas to happen the Lord's Supper. So the only ones that Jesus allowed to be partakers of the Supper was his disciples. That's common ground for us. Be a disciple and you will have nothing to worry about. Come bless the prayer. Thank you right now. 
God, that we take and break this bread to believe and trust in what you've done from day one, God. So we grab it and break it, Father, and bless it.
go ahead and stand so I can bless you. We're getting ready to go. Y'all keep saying that behind me.